Everybody in the stands, you should have a roll of Mentos and a test tube, do you? Everybody got them, hold them up. All right. That roll of Mentos and test tube is for you later, but you must start with me this way. Ready? Say, I promise not to do this at home. <laughs> I will do it at a friend's home. Oh! <laughs> Perfect, all right? Here's what we're gonna do. All right. Kathy, if you take a bottle of soda and okay. you shake up that bottle of Let soda. Let me shake it now. Carbon dioxide, that gas, will come out of the soda. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna help it come out. Something this time, helping. we're gonna use these mint mentos, all right? Mint mentos are amazing because there's these tiny little pits that they have, and so all the carbon dioxide kind of comes running to it. The trick here, kids, is what you have to do is you're gonna put your fingers at home, I mean at a friend's home, over here like this, don't do it inside either. That's the other little problem, all right? When you drop them all in at once, yeah. the carbon dioxide that. will come out. All right, so you ready, Kathy? You I and I are going to kind of hold together. We turn it all upside right. down. Three, okay. two, oh, wow. one, drops it. See, that's fine. That nice. Nice. That was wow. good, wasn't it? That's minty fresh. Nice. That's good. But here's the problem, all right? The problem is if you just take Mentos and drop them into Diet Coke, that's not a science experiment. That's just doing something fun. All that's right? making a mess, Steve. It is making a mess. We need to turn this into a real science experiment. And in order to do that, we need to be able to control a variable. So I think that we're going to be able to do it if we have a really good geyser team. So ladies and gentlemen, from the <laughs> dugout, please welcome the Steve Spangler Science Geyser Team. Come on out, guys. Let's Here we go. Them. All right, guys. This is our geyser team right here. These are geyserologists. They have been practicing and practicing. Earlier today, our geyserologists went into the stands and found 10 lucky people. If you're one of those 10 lucky people, you look at the geyserologist. They're going to look at you right now. Give us a little music and go get your kids. Would you do that for me? Go get your kids. Go. <laughs> Nice round of applause for our 10 yes. helpers, would you? Nice. All right. All right, guys, your team, it's really important that we practice safety, so would you please put on the safety glasses, all right? Put on those safety glasses. Kids, you adjust those safety glasses. Team, go get to the goodies, all right? Go get the goodies. Let me tell you the experiment that we've set up. You can only change one variable. So this time, Kathy, we're going to use Diet Coke. That's we're not right. going to change anything. I love that. Same temperature of Diet Coke. The only thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the number of Mentos. I want you to know the number that gives us the highest geyser. So from left to right, we're going to do one Mento, two Mentos, three Mentos, all the way up to ten Mentos. Great. So if we were to do a finale, I don't know, but if we were to do a finale, you would know the number of Mentos you should drop in for the highest geyser. Fair enough? All right, kids, your geyserologist is going to put on your poncho for you, all right? Ten ponchos, ten kids. Perfect. It's funny how math kind of works that yes, way, don't you think? Yes, it does. The little tube that we have on the top is the geyser tube that's just holding it in place. So when we pull, we'll pull the first one, we'll get a chance to be able to see what that looks like, then the second one, then the third one, all right? Kids, put your hands over the top of the bottles, all right? They're pulling the pin here in just a second, right? Let's do the very first one. Are you ready, Zara? Three, two, two one. one. Pull it. All right, so, so one Mento's okay, but a little boring on science day, all right? <laughs> two Mento's, go. Nine. Oh, ah. Steve, that could be the one. That's two good. Is looking Three good. Mentos, go. No, Three. it's got to be two. Two. Whoa. Nice. Three. I see a pattern Better. here, people. Four Mentos. Let's Try go four. With four. Nice. Whoa. Five Mentos. Good job. Whoa. Nice. Six Mentos. Give me a six. Woo! Are you kind of seeing what I'm That's seeing? We kind of hit my plateau here. Seven Mentos. Nice. Yeah. We just hit a magic number. Eight Mentos. Nice. Woo! Nine Mentos. Nice. Whoa. Give me a 10, would Go you? Jack. Would you want? Nice. If, if you were going to do it and you're actually going to use a bottle, how many Mentos would you use? All right, guys. Go get them. Let's do 10, all right? Now, the hard part here is our geyser team has to get everything kind of ready. So they have to unroll it, and then we have to have a team together so we can pull all at the same time. So everybody has 10, Steve? Is everybody ready? Let's count them down from five. Ready? Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Give them a the pull. Now. Nice job. <laughs> so well, 
Well, I guess those <laughs> seats aren't so good after all, are they? Huh? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our geyser yes. team. Yes. And how about fun. those volunteers? <laughs>